I'm Emmanuel and welcome to my workbench. Today I will be doing a mail call for a trade that I did with Stu Pluback. Uh, link to his channel up above. I sent him some Canadian banknotes and he sent me some American banknotes. I asked for a, a special set that he could put together for me. And so I can't wait to get into it and let's, let's get right into it. I've already opened it so that um, it, it makes it easier to uh, access. And let me make sure there's nothing else in here. I, uh, just for uh, reference, uh, Stu, if you're uh, looking uh, at this video, I did get this shortly right after Christmas, so thank you so much. Uh, this says, Emmanuel, I hope these are to your liking. I was very surprised to find at least one of each reserve in decent shape. As for the silver coins, all were purchased as junk silver. I tried to include as many versions as I could. There are barbers and mercs and others, so maybe it helps your typeset if you have one. I put in a $5 blue seal that is uh, decent and an experimental web note and where's, a Where's George note. The red seal $5 isn't pretty, so it's a gift. I'm sure it has a good home. Feel free to use this in a video. I will do that with yours. Thank you and enjoy. Stu Blueback. Awesome. Thank you so much. So uh, Stu kind of uh, gave it away what I was looking for. So let's get right into it and set these aside over here. We'll get into the coins after, um, but um, Stu is a um, n primarily a note collector. And so what I asked him to do, so in the, I mean, the American followers of my channel will be very familiar with this. Uh, however, the Canadian followers might not know this, uh, but uh, there are many federal reserves, uh, federal reserve banks uh, that produce um, notes in, in the United States. And so this one, and they each have their own letter in this circle over here in the seal. So what I tried to do instead of uh, doing a, a, bank, a banknote series uh, is I asked too if you could put me to, uh, if you could put together, uh, a set where uh, of one dollar bills, where I would have uh, one of each of the uh, the letters from the, uh, each of the Federal Reserve banks, uh, and that's what he did, plus a few extra banknotes. So this is the Where's George that he mentioned over here, where it says uh, track where I go next. So I'll definitely go online and let uh, the folks on that are tracking this note know that uh, this note is now in Canada. And here is the web note on this side. Now, uh, I am not an expert, but let's flip it over here. Normally there is a plate number over here, I believe. Uh, and for the web note, uh, the plate number is somewhere else, I believe. I don't see it over here. Yeah, this one, the plate number is down here. And on this one over here, the plate number is up there. And the bank notes, I believe, uh, are also based on the year. This is, this is 1995. And if I look over here, this is a uh, D, which means, let me see off camera so I can read with my poor eyes. This is Cleveland. This is Cleveland and L is California, or I should say uh, San Francisco, California. Uh, so there you go. Uh, some differences. So the one, this one over here has uh, a little number over here, which this one doesn't have. That's awesome. Okay, set that aside. Here is the $5 silver certificate of 1934. Blue seal. Awesome. What a beautiful banknote. I must say that um, my preference is... Uh, for all of the uh, busts that are on American uh, banknotes, uh, my preference is uh, definitely for the uh, the five dollar the five dollar bill uh, of all of the banknotes. Now, mind you, you know a hundred dollar bill is nice to have, but uh, that's because of the big number on the side. So here's the red seal. This is legal tender. It says the United States note five dollars red seal with Lincoln on it. Awesome. Yeah, a little bit of damage, but that's fine. This is a gift and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Now, Stu had said that um, the uh, notes from the I 
a location, which I will, um, I don't remember what it is, I'll have to have a look, is, uh, was hard to come by and I might not have one, but good news, we do have one in here. So I have one of all of uh, each banknote. So here we go, starting with the letter A. This one is from Boston. 2017 series. I'm not going to show the backside of all of them, but uh, I will just go through these one at a time. Just for the front, here is B, which is New York. 2017 series. C, we have Philadelphia, also 2017 series. Cool. D is, if you can focus, is Cleveland, Ohio. Also 2017. Maybe these are all 2017. I, uh, I think that's what I asked for. All in the same series. So that's kind of cool. E is uh, Richmond, Virginia. Very cool. And F is uh, Atlanta, Georgia. G is uh, Chicago, Illinois. H is, if it'll focus, St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. Here is the I note. I'm so happy to have one. This is Minneapolis, Minnesota. Very cool. Here is the J note, Kansas City, and the K note is over here, Dallas, Texas. And finally, the last one in the series is the L, which is um, San Francisco. Awesome. Let me uh, get to the silver coins. I'll set them up and I'll come right back. All right, and here's the silver that he sent me. And uh, I'm really excited because uh, I do have a few, uh, a little bit of silver coinage. I believe I have um, some Kennedy and Benjamin half dollars. I believe I have a um, Walking Liberty as well. Uh, but I don't have any Barbers and I don't have any SLQs. So I'll, I'm happy to get these. So let's start with the dimes. We have a barber from 1903. I don't even know where to look for the mint mark. I think it's at the bottom of this uh, uh, over here, but uh, I'm not quite sure. But hey, we can read the year and that's really what's important. 1903, awesome. Another barber, this one is from 1912. I can't see a mint mark, but then again, like I said, uh, I'm not an expert on these. So I don't know where to be, where to look, but I don't see one. So let's call that a Philadelphia. And then Merck Dimes. This one is a 1928. It has a W mint mark right over there. Now, I don't know if that's, a, no, it has an S mint mark. So I'm guessing the W is the designer possibly. So this is a San Francisco. It has the S mint mark down here. Awesome. Next one is another Merc Dime. This one is 1935. And no mint mark that I can see. Sorry, I had to take it off camera. My poor eyes. And a 1949 um, Fr Franklin Rosie Dime. Awesome. The quarters. I got a Standing Liberty 1927. This is awesome. Glad to have this in my collection. I don't have any of these. And I also have a Barber 1898. So that is, I mean, I keep saying awesome, but that's what it is. I'm very excited to actually have one of these in my hands, as opposed to watching people handle them on their videos. It's uh, quite an, a different experience. 1907 Barber Half Dime. Ah, what am I saying? 1907 Half Dollar. With a D mint mark. Cool. 
And finally, a 90% last year of issue, uh, 19, 1964. Um, last year being 90% silver, uh, 1964 Kennedy. This one looks like it has a uh, no mint mark, so Philadelphia. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed to Stu's channel, I will put a link to his channel up here. Go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, he does mostly uh, uh, note searches, uh, bank strap searches, and um, it's great to expand uh, your, your horizons in, in the collecting, uh, in the numismatics world. Uh, I don't, I'm not really a big note collector. I do have some. Uh, but I thought that it would be great to have a good start on a note collection by having this set over here. We'll see what happens uh, going forward with my American note set collection. Um, but anyways, head on over to his channel and subscribe. Uh, he will be posting a, a mail call of my package sometime in the future, so stay tuned for that. And uh, if you like my videos, I do appreciate that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't by clicking the subscribe button. And... Uh, if you don't want to miss my next video when it drops, click that notification bell as well. Until next time, thanks for watching.